हेलो डियर फ्रेंड्स सिंपल इंटरेस्ट ए टॉपिक व्हिच इज नियरली अनअवॉइडेबल इन एनी टाइप ऑफ कंपटीशन इन व्हिच न्यूमेरिकल एबिलिटी पोर्शन इज इन्वॉल्वड प्रॉब्लम्स बेस्ड ऑन सिंपल फ्रैक्शन आर फाउंड इन लार्ज नंबर्स एंड यू नीड लॉट ऑफ प्रैक्टिस टू मास्टर ऑल टाइप्स ऑफ क्वेश्चंस बेस्ड ऑन दिस इंपॉर्टेंट कांसेप्ट नाउ टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू वन प्रॉब्लम which is often confused by the students remember i'm talking about simple interest the question goes like this a sum of money doubles itself in 16 years so there's a particular amount of money and it doubles itself in 16 years so you need to tell me in how much time will it triple itself triple now see doubles in 16 years so you need to tell me in how much time the money will triple itself give it a thought i am sure the first answer which comes to your mind is 24 years and why because this is a fallacy this is the wrong explanation what most of the students do in this case they say that it doubles in 16 years so 2x is 16 years that means x is 8 years and now we need to triple this so 3x is 3 into 8 24 years now this is the wrong explanation for this why i'll just tell you the right explanation this is the correct explanation now see if you assume that the principal amount that is the money invested the sum of money is x so it becomes 2x in 16 years so what is the simple interest i am talking of simple interest see x was already there this is not simple interest how much it has increased it has increased by x anything to double requires the same amount so actually x is for an increase of x rupees it takes 16 years so now you need to convert this amount into 3x so how much is to be added to 2x to make it 3x it is plus x again so if you want an increase of plus x again you have to spend 16 more years so 16 years again so what is the total time taken for triple so the answer for this question is 16 plus 16 that is 32 years a very common mistake which the students make in this problem of doubling and tripling so it is not 24 years the answer is 32 years now compound interest the formula what we are going to use is something different from the traditional approach and this can be used in competitions or be students at the school level they are being told the formula that i'll tell you the formula which traditionally the students use is the formula for the amount p into 1 plus r upon 100 raised to power time once they get the amount then compound interest is found out by using amount minus principal now this is the traditional approach of getting to the answer now see here they have to solve powers of a particular number then multiplied by p to get amount then subtract to get the compound interest little bit of understanding of compound interest and then we can succeed in getting to the answer very very quickly now let's see in competitions the 
traditional approach does not work. We need to have some quicker method through which we can get to the answer very very quickly. Now see 3000 is the initial amount. Whatever time is there in years, let us break that up in one one year stops. So this is one year, we need 5%. So add 5% interest. 5% of this, now this has to be done very very quickly. 5 by 100 into 3000. This is 150 rupees. So add 5%. 3000 rupees give you a simple interest of 150 rupees for one year. So just add these two 3150 and now second year. So another 5%. So 5 by 100 into 3150. So 10 gets cancelled. 5525, 527. And 15, so we have a decimal year. 157.5 is the interest for the second year. And now you don't need to follow the same procedure further because already we have calculated the interest of the two years. Please notice here that the principal amount has changed for the second year, and the interest for second year is greater than the first year. That is why this interest is known as compound interest. And just add these two, your answer for the question is 307.5 rupees. I am sure the method will find wide application in competitive exams and this traditional approach can be used only at school level. Even children at school level they can use this method to tally their answer which they get through the traditional approach. Let's have one more question for the, uh, this method. Now see, in this question, we have, first up, we have 10,000 rupees and we need 10% interest. Now 10% of anything is calculated by putting a decimal one digit from the right side. So it gives a interest of 1,000. So this amount becomes 11,000 now. Further, leading to the second year, 10% again. Put a decimal one digit from the right side, so 1100 interest here creates a total of 11,000, 12,100. For the third year, 10% interest, so put a decimal again, so this is plus 1210. Now, see the amount of interest is increasing every time we are proceeding because the principal amount is increasing for every year. And now very simple, the answer, just add the three interests, 1000 plus 1100 plus 1210, so your answer for the question is 0, 1, 3, 3. So 3310 rupees is the answer for this question. So how much time does it take you? to calculate interest of such simple questions. These must take only 7 to 8 seconds to get to the answer. And that's what we require for success in competitions. So practice these kind of methods. I'm sure you will come out successfully in all competitions involving numerical ability portion. So if you like the video, do share it and subscribe the channel.